What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and you're getting a solo reaction from me and it's a special day because Obi-Wan Kenobi has dropped a trailer and I've been on record for a while now saying that of all the things ever since Disney took over Star Wars and started telling these stories, the Kenobi story between three and four is the story that I am the most excited about. It is the story that I have wanted from the beginning. I didn't need a Han Solo story. Rogue One was amazing, but didn't need that. I didn't need any of this other stuff. The thing that I needed was the Obi-Wan Kenobi. I feel like there's so much story to tell. There's so many things to be had there. I even did a little video on like my Star Wars channel that I don't really post to anymore, talking about the gaps and the stories that can be filled from the original trilogy, talking about like when Luke and Vader are talking like Obi-Wan once believed as you did. There's certain things that can be filled in that gap. Qui-Gon, I hope that he's in there. We know Vader and, and Anakin are going to be in this with Hayden Christensen. I'm so happy for him making his return back into Star Wars. There are a lot of things that you kind of got to be kind of like concerned. You got to kind of walk carefully through just because of the canon and everything like that. But again, despite coming off Boba Fett and my feelings of that, I have all the confidence in the world that this show is going to be amazing. Yes, my expectations are very high, which is why I am here to watch and react to the trailer. I just personally cannot wait to see anything from this show. And yeah, solo reaction for me in Star Wars. Let's go. I could just, this is gonna be, there's gonna be so many emotions. The fight is done. We lost. It's <sighs> <sighs> fucking Luke. Stay hidden. Holy shit, this is gonna be emotional. The key to hunting Jedi. Inquisitors. Oh shit. Oh my God. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. So Owen. The Jedi code is like an itch. He cannot help it. I'm getting chills, dude. Where is he? Dude! The fucking Inquisitor's live action! That shit's gonna be fucking dope! Dude, dude, that looked fucking awesome. The Inquisitors looked awesome. Him looking in on Luke, that gave me all the fucking emotions, dude. That, this show is going to rip us all apart. I could already feel it. I, this looks like a piece of cinema. This movie looks or movie, I just called it a movie. It looks like a movie, it's not a movie. This is a TV show. And again, I have all the faith in the world that this crew and, and the people behind this are gonna absolutely crush this. That looked really, really awesome. The music, the emotion, just you got Jedi hunters out there killing Jedi and Obi-Wan has to stay quiet. And huh, one of the things I really hope we get to see is if you remember from Revenge of the Sith before Yoda and Obi-Wan did their strategic retreat to go hide, he gave Obi-Wan a mission to connect with Qui-Gon. I am praying and hoping that we get to see Liam Nielsen back as Qui-Gon meditating and talking and communicating with Obi-Wan 
Hopefully we get Yoda. I mean, Hayden Christensen back as Vader is going to be freaking epic. The Inquisitors look super cool live action. This just feels like there's going to be a level of intensity and just emotion and <sighs> Obi-Wan meeting Leia and oh, like how they're going to pull all this off and do all of this with them as little kids is... But again, that, that Luke shot, that one is what got me. That, that really got me. I'm not going to lie. And hearing Vader breathing, just this whole thing is just... I, I think my expectations are absolutely massive going into this. I didn't have expectations going into Boba Fett. And what happened in that show is what it is. This is my focus. I think this is going to be epic. This is going to be everything that I, I think this could be. And... You know, if it isn't, then we'll deal with it and we'll talk through it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought that was a spectacular first look. I think Obi-Wan looks great. He's, I mean, he's amazing. He's amazing as Obi-Wan. And I, I just can't wait to see more and can't wait to watch this show and check it out. And yeah, all you guys leave all your comments down below and uh, we'll talk about it later. See you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.